and welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host, Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, here to give you another movie review. This time around, we're going to be talking about Dune Part 2. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. Look! My family's been fighting them for centuries. Your blood comes from dukes and great houses. Here, we're equal. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. So we've returned back to this epic science fiction film uh, that was directed and co-produced by Denis Villeneuve uh, and who co-wrote the screenplay with John Spassitz, I believe. It, it's been a while. It's been a while. June, the first part of Doom came out back in 2021 and it was, in my opinion, one of the more intriguing films of the time. Uh, but part two, it's it's been a long time coming. I know a lot of people were speculating due to its release because there was a lot of speculation if they were going to make a part two um, and what's going to happen afterwards. I'll say this now as a little bit of a minor spoiler, there is potentially going to be a part three uh, if it's financially backed properly. And I, I see no reason it won't because part two even though it is sitting almost near three hours long is a very enjoyable film if you're into these like space operas it's it's definitely it definitely has a niche fan base uh uh, as far as the Doom franchise goes, uh, but with part one and now part two now released, I believe it's sitting up there with with the giants of like Star Wars and Star Trek in the the in the populace. I my myself I am now more intrigued with the Dune universe due to watching these two parts, and they're both sitting at a, a good chunk of time. And I, I, I need to actually, you know, I might want to go back and catch the, the 19, I believe 1984 Dune. Um, but besides the point, besides the point, talking about Dune Part 2. Dune Part 2 it continues on with our main character of Paul Atreides after he's been uh, basically his family's been basically. Uh, executed and he and his mother are like the only survivors of his house family uh, as he is ends up on the the planet of Arrakis um, as he tries to be one with the people of the free Fre Fremen this is and here is where you kind of get this really interesting plot I know a lot of people this is just my opinion uh, the 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 this weird like white man savior kind of stuff because they play a lot into these like some religious tones but even the film itself takes takes note of this and actually tries to go against it i am not a huge like i personally don't know much of the lore or the the actual core uh information from what which these uh books that come from so the ad adaptation from my opinion I do not know but what we got on screen as far as the plot I enjoyed whatever if it's and what little information I do know it, it seems it's holding some with some liberties there's not major changes but enough to make the story seem like enjoyable for many audiences like for myself an outsider looking in i enjoy what the story is trying to tell of paul atreides and the people and visually starting with visuals like all the set pieces all the cinematography very very well done a lot of great shots like you're looking at a lot of desert a lot of time but even then the deserts look so good um then then the sound design oh god definitely you have to at least catch this movie once in cinema it's the sound and the soundtrack to this is just just uh, like resonates inside your body just the the feel I, I i'm like i personally want to invest when it comes to a decent like cinema room or something of the like so i can enjoy just these small moments where 
you can't really get in theater and this movie showcases just how sound really like helps uh a, a movie just 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 that slight bit the cast themselves of of let's see here paul atreides he's played oh there you go who's played by timothy charlemagne uh Chiny, played by zendaya the cast cra cast wonderful job i know it, it they they do a wonderful job i i, I enjoy what it did the editing itself in my opinion for what they're trying to do with this long novel style con novel turned to to cinema i felt for what we got whoever did the editing to for this film did a wonderful job because for sure the plot is moving at a reasonably good pace at times sometimes feeling a little over but they they did a good job just basing off sections of the movie that i i never felt too lost or too overwhelmed um and leaving a couple shots really well done on top of the cinematography that was being produced the shots were really good so the plot itself just moving from uh point to point flowed really well and i've never felt that like that very just lost at, at those points but definitely i it's one of those things where actually i wish i wish they turned this version of dune into like a mini series uh because i could see so much more potential in that and I, because at least the first movie in this movie like they're coming up near six hours so you could have uh but yeah you could it's 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 hard to say there but but definitely there was no real like like no need for me to worry uh as far as like just being lost as far as the plot and how it flowed uh, the the general i part thing i would say about this movie is just i it's gr enjoyable it's not gonna win over anyone if you did if you don't like part one and sitting through long movies and space operas aren't really your thing you're this is not gonna be your thing definitely i did not see part one again in a while i was planning on watching it before i went to the movies but it just i just never found the time sadly and i would have probably got a little bit more context from it but i i, I felt i didn't need to for the second one um and i i think that works well for for this i the thing with, with this film is it's it's a very there's a lot happening there's a lot of plot there's a lot to take in as far as story and when it when it comes to doom part two the characters play a reasonably good job of the cast does a really good job portraying their characters with the way the story is flowing with the way the everything's happening it's a very well laid out like like film and in my opinion i i definitely would actually i would love to go see this again even though it's a long <laughs> long ass movie uh just because i all the shot pieces all the choreography on top of that um all the action sequences all the the just the, the story the lore that's being pushed and makes me want to learn more about the world of dune and and just everything definitely there are some nitpicks i could say just minor stuff like i said there's like there's certain scenes that i wish extended longer uh some scenes that uh just kind of it's not like it felt like it skipped but definitely to my understanding uh from from it adaptation was uh originally longer in the original co context but just kind of sped up for film uh preference which is fine you know like you, you the people have to take some liberties you can't watch a movie that takes months sometimes um but it is possible but i, I it worked all right um and kind of the creepiness to it i i really liked it because of the, some of the the like i said some of the, the sound for some of the the the, the abilities that i forget the name of what the 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 women group was who have the ability to kind of control with their voice the the, the tone they had with that it just oh the and all the 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 costuming was great uh it's just it's an overall 
fun space opera and i'm glad it's out there and i'm ho like i'm pretty sure and i'm hoping myself that when that the third one will come out it hasn't been officially known but it, the film leaves at a very intense third act which is very impressive doesn't leave uh, like like it just just lets you as an audience member like whoa crazy this is cr this is a great third act and still leaves the ending like hmm there's more and i want more it gives the audience like now give me more so yes those are my thoughts for dune part two the prophet why is that a bad thing use it because all my visions lead to horror <laughs> Because you lose control. Because I gain it. Johnny, do you believe in me? Paul Atreides is still alive. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify. If you're following me on any other podcast platform, uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or any of those social media platforms to let me know how your thoughts on Doom Part 2. So yeah, everyone, thanks again for listening or watching. Until next time, see ya, see ya, see ya.